But you know that you know what you really ain't been right. And you really are putting on the front for the people because you lack the relationship of God. See, dead relationships I call for funeral relationships. Uh, funeral relationships. It's almost like that Michael Jackson uh, funeral uh -huh. where people showed up at the funeral uh -huh. and they really didn't know Mike, but they got so caught up in the emotions <laughs> that they caught up with the emotions that they start saying, oh, Mike was such a great man. And they start slapping their hands and saying, Mike did this. Wasn't nothing strange about your daddy. What was strange about was what your daddy had to go through. And they start saying all these good things and everybody's excited and everything like that. But just a couple of weeks ago, they were so upset with him and thought he was crazy, thought he was a lunatic, thought he was perverted, thought this and that. But at this time, at the funeral, all of those emotions went to the side and then the new emotions came in and they were brought in by a couple too few people that really didn't know Mike so they came in there saying all these good things and everybody got so caught up in the emotion but they didn't have a relationship with Mike but since they got caught up with the emotions they start saying hey he was a great man and that's the same thing with church we got too many funeral relationships dead relationships with Christ we ain't really got no relationship with God but we come into the house of the Lord and the band starts to play and the organ starts to throw and you know what we get so caught up in the emotions of the church that they, we think that we had an encounter with God but there was no power there with him right. right. oh God so. we have no relationship so we have no power it was a synonym that was given in 1 Corinthians 15 and 41 when he used the resurrection of the dead as a being power and also being used as glory so his glory is also his power so we have no power because we have no glory because we have no glory because we have no relationship. And some of y'all are hoping for things that y'all can't get to because y'all really ain't got no relationship in faith in Christ to get there. All ye of little faith. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing from the word of God. And you ain't been in your word. You ain't studying. You ain't sought God's face. You ain't been going after God. You ain't been praying. The Bible says to pray what? Without ceasing. How do you say that to pray without ceasing? I don't know about you, but I want to be in constant communication with Christ and stop being in constant communication with my flesh. Because the Bible also says that we sin daily. So since I sin daily, that means I got to be in my word daily. That means I got to be on my face daily. That means I got to be before his name daily. I got to wake up in the morning and say thank you Jesus for waking me up this morning. I can't just wake up to 100.9 of the whiz and this and that. I need to wake up to somebody singing thank you Jesus. Lord you brought me from a mighty long way. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost but now I'm found as blind but now I see I need to wake up with some strength instead of waking up to some boop 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 because you think you got it all on Sunday. But this isn't a Sunday relationship. This is a daily relationship. And you're fading away. It's not that the Christ in you is fading. Your relationship with Christ is fading. So people can't see the Christ in you. They only see you. Say it. Say it. Selfish. The Bible says that if you seek your own glory then you've gotten all the glory that you're going to get. But if you seek the glory of God, then it means that God's going to give you his glory, his favor, his grace, his peace. Because he who blesses me in secret, I'm going to reward openly. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready for God to bless me openly because I'll be in my prayer closet giving God my best praise, giving God everything I have, be in my word. I ain't got to tell nobody, get up here on the mic and say, I read all of this and I did all of this and I said all this. No, God knows my heart and therefore God's going to bless me because of my heart. Because, you know, <laughs> see, some of y'all with me and some of y'all ain't. God's been good to anybody in here today. Does anybody know God in here today? Has anybody been a blessing to God in here today? Does anybody want a relationship with Christ in here today? The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and everything shall be added. What does it mean to be righteous? That just means to be in the right place at the right time. And I don't know about you, but I'm in the right place on the right time to receive my blessing. So therefore, I lift up my hands. Therefore, I give God the praise. Therefore, I'm in my word because I know that he is the author and the finisher of my faith. So therefore, I cannot be concerned with other people. I have to be concerned only with Christ. I can't be concerned with my own selfish desires. Because myself keeps on getting me in trouble. Yeah, the Bible yeah. says 
that, that, that every time you do good, evil is always present. Yeah. And, and we always say that word, evil is always present. We always talking about our neighbor, our cousin, the bad kids, the people at our job, our boss. But the Bible is really talking about the evil that's always present. It's the evil that's within you. Yeah. So therefore, every time you do good, there's something on the inside of you that wants to do the total opposite. You know it in your spirit. You be battling in your mind. Should I do this? Should I do that? Well, if I just do this right now, I mean, you be battling within yourself at all times. That's why you always have to have a strong relationship with God. You, you just can't wait till you get into the battle to start praising. Yeah. Oh, yeah. come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. See, some of us, we wait till we lose our job. Then our praise gets higher. So, yeah. Sometimes we wait till there's more, no money in the bank and then we start giving our time. Sometimes we wait until there's till I, I, somebody in our household that got sick and then we want to get in our secret place. And sometimes we wait till there's all hell breaking loose around us and then we want to give God the 